The following video will show you how we implemented the new features of the Acoustic Eraser and the Deconvolution HDR algorithm. In front of you you see a test file, a simulated test file with six sound sources. Four of them are white noise and um, 90 dB, 80 dB, 70 dB and so on. Uh, the standard beamforming algorithm would give you the following result. So uh, a calculation with the basis of a 48 channel ring array expectedly gives you um, some 10 dB dynamic at 13.5 dB you see some of the side lobes. The main source is about 90 dB and 10 dB less. You just see some hints of the source. With the new acoustic eraser, you can either define a point or a surface area, and we will look in this area for the major hotspot and delete the source within. You see it's marked, and uh, as I press, it's deleted. You see, we deleted this from the main time function. I can repeat this as often as I want for certain areas. You see that, um, yeah, here yeah, some remains of your food source reappear. And uh, if you do delete this once or twice, then the source will be gone. And first source gone, second source gone. I can do this with third to get the fourth source much more nicer as well. In practice, you reach with this uh, some 20 dB dynamic and. Uh, Let's show you what we optimize for you. You don't want to do this all the time by yourself. You can um, create this also with an HDR image all for you. This is the calculated result. It's the same acoustic photo, the same channel file, test one. And uh, you see now, if you double click into the acoustic photo, show kernel option, we calculate the high dynamic range image with a 5 dB side lobe suppression, 20 iterations and uh, the beauty of this here is you not only get a higher dynamic in the acoustic image, in this case 66.5 dB, you can also listen to it much much nicer and uh, you increase the signal to noise ratio per point. So let's listen to this and get a first impression. I said Four of these sources are white noise. Let's listen to this. Yeah, that's clearly the white noise source. That's the white noise source. And the white noise. Yeah, someone is talking. Here's another white noise source. Or not. Here, that is clearly a white noise source. Okay. Um, more interesting though is to apply this to a real life measurement. I can do this here. Take a known file. Uh, I can mark a certain time interval and create an acoustic photo so we see what's normally uh, on this image. Here, in this case, we have some 8.1 dB dynamic and we see roughly one source, maybe a second source around here. So here clearly we would like to have some more dynamic. As I described, very easily you double click into the image, show kernel option, then all you do is press high dynamic range image, define the side lobe suppression ratio factor, and uh, how many iterations you want to have. This is important if you don't want to show all of the reflections everywhere. So if you press high dynamic range, say OK, the acoustic image will be recalculated, you see how fast this goes here, and uh, source by source we get uh, more and more dynamics, so in this case 20 dB would be interesting. Once the calculation has finished, we will listen to this and you will clearly see a difference to the original file. I will go back to this so you get an impression what more dynamic you will reach. So. Again, we'll press the microphone. See, I can listen to each point, and each point gives me a very strong characteristic. Yeah. 
if I go back to the original calculation, so I untick the high dynamic range image, in which I um, found half of the dynamic and also the listening was. So the HDR algorithm allows us also to get a much, much higher dynamic in the listening so and the quality of the sound of the exact source. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I hope this was helpful to underline the effectiveness of the acoustic eraser and the HDR deconvolution algorithm. Thank you very much for your attention.